Prolific on our roads, Transdev Melbourne provides a third of the city's bus network. But since a September safety audit pulled a dozen out of service, the entire fleet has been inspected for faults. The War 500 buses were inspected um, and at the moment we've got about 70 replacement buses on our network. Replacement vehicles are operating while repairs take place, but there's a hitch. Some don't have Mikey machines. Good news if you're a passenger, but expensive if you're not. Any bus that does not have a Mikey device, we've been reimbursing the state for that loss of revenue. Transdev won't provide an estimate of the cost, but expects its network to be fully operational by the end of the month. Mikey was a lemon to begin with and now the government is clearly not managing this on buses. Transport Safety Victoria says it will conduct further audits to ensure Transdev is complying with standards and for the ongoing safety of their bus services. The Premier was pushing a different safety message in Alphington, announcing a construction blitz starting tonight. The level crossing work in the Northcote electorate precedes the November by-election, a project the late Fiona Richardson had campaigned for. A great champion for this project. It's fair to say it wouldn't have happened without her her hard work. The opposition had a different take. That is clearly a sign that Daniel Andrews is pork barrelling in the electorate. Significant rail and road disruptions are expected over the next nine days. Commuters and drivers should check the PTV website. Laura Spurway, Nine News.